if you had the old Jumbotron, which is like a few light, bright light bulbs flash the score every 10 minutes instead of red zone, you're like, what are we doing here? But we are totally accepting of the same song from 40 years ago because, well, there's no good music or I'm comfortable. No, you would immediately realize how much better life would be if things were fresh. You want to know how I know? You listen to this show. My guess is, because we take this very seriously, you like the music on this show. And my guess is 80% of the songs, you have no idea who played them. Because myself and Pete go meticulously through songs. And we go through archives and databases and tracks upon tracks. We edit this. We double up this. We try this with a production team. Our production guy, Doug, I work relentlessly on updating our music and our sound. My guess is you don't know who plays our music and you don't like it because it's comfortable and that you know what it is because you don't know what it is, but it's good. It's upbeat. It's fun. Pete does such a good job putting our music beds in that it's fresh and it's new. We must have, over the course of the DA show's last five years, have played 500 different music tracks. 500 of them. That's all new music. You don't have lyrics, but those are actual songs that we took beats from. It can be done. It's not hard. We do it. Like, how often do I get an email? What was that song that you just played? That was awesome. How many times do I have to push to Pete or I used to push to Kenny Brock? What song did you guys just play? What song, what song was that? I want to play that. I want to download that. I want to listen to that. I want to listen to it on YouTube. It happens all of the time. It's not, you think that you're comfortable and you like old music, but if I played every day White Stripes, Crazy Train, Welcome to the Jungle, that all of the hits from stadiums as our music every day, you'd be like, DA, can you freshen it up a little bit here? Have you heard a new song in the last 30 years? You know you would. You would hate it if I only played those songs. You don't know what you don't know, and these stadiums are so lazy, and these scoreboard people, you know, it's like great graphics, great scoreboard, but music from 40 years ago. And look, one crazy train would be great. But it can't be every score every week. You got to mix it up a little bit. There, Ozzy has other stuff. I, I don't know. I hate to break it to people, but Ozzy actually has more songs than just Crazy Train. But that's the only song that we're apparently legally obligated to have to play after every touchdown. It's nuts.